In the second part, we will be focusing on creating the job detail. We will be reusing the rich text element, which we used for the blog post. I'll leave the link in the description for the video, which is covering the part about the rich text in case you missed the previous parts. And uh, yeah, so let's look at how to do that. We will copy most of this uh, to, to the collection detail. Uh, we will have the internships template. So let's copy the section. So we have the section and now let's grab the remaining bits, which is the menu. Actually just grab the trigger here. Trigger to trigger the menu. And now just let's take it from symbols so we can explore some other ways. Now let's add CTA. And now let's add footer. Awesome. So we have uh, the structure. We won't need this bit, but actually we will need it at the bottom. We will use this one. Yeah, let's keep it there for now. Let's keep it there under the collection. We need the we need this. Now we will be getting the data. Can we remove it from there? Yeah, we can. Awesome. So we need the hero heading, uh, get text from internships. Uh, here we will get the company name. Now we need the tags. Actually, I think here we might not need to center it anymore. Yeah. Let's keep the same height, which was I think 50, right? Use again the contain, center it, and no repeat, exactly. And let's keep the width, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe set up like max width of like 250, I guess. Yeah, I think then for the long one, yeah, I think this looks really cool. Uh, now we need the tags, so this will be margin 30 here. So let's get the position tag here. Actually, what's the, what's the distance here? It's 40. This should be only 4. 62, 10. Yeah, that's a lot. Hero heading, uh, position name and let's do five all right sure let's duplicate this one um position uh job company name awesome and now let's do 30 here great this is working great awesome uh only thing here, we don't want the block approach. We need the tags separately. Awesome. And now we need position tag wrap. Actually, we can add uh, eight here. It shouldn't break it on the detail, I think. Cool. And now just l let's wrap the Let's wrap the tags together. So we will have them in one row. Mm -hmm. And now we need different icons. So let's grab this one for the time. Let's grab this one for the money. And we will be getting the info obviously from somewhere. So let's get text from location. Let's get text from uh, time per week. And let's get text from salary. Awesome. So we have the header. Now we need a divider. So 40. We can again obviously use the use the standard divider. But yeah, let's use it here. That I think here it makes sense. Uh, 
Let's do it like this. Forty uh, position tax wrap. And now we need the rich text. We will actually take this one from the blog post because we have it already styled somewhere. Cool. So let's grab it from here. Blog post rich text. We can actually just grab the rich text here and then just find the one which we are using. Blog post rich text. Awesome. And get text from internship description. And we already have this. This is awesome. Cool. Let's remove this one. Let's move this below because that will be exactly what we need. Posted January 2020. Mm -hmm. And then just switch. Switch this here. I think it will be, yeah, let's stick to the, let's stick to the capitalist actually. I think let's keep it consistent. And the only thing which we will do here, this doesn't have, this have combo class, grayish hello text. And now let's add the job date text and remove it from here and put it here. And now we need the button. Does the blue one, I think this will be this one as well. Let's rename this. And now let's edit here. Button. Awesome. Big violet. Just this hello rep. Hello rep job. Uh, job date rep. Let's use 60 to keep the spacing similar. Actually, this one is quite big. Position rich text. And let's do only 25 here. Right. Maybe you know what? Let's do even 15 only. So the date is next to it. And then I want the internship. And that's jobs before you shine internship inquiry. Awesome. So we have the job detail. We now need to only polish this one. Divide the rich text. And this was 40, so this one will be 40 as well. Probably less because it apparently have some padding on the on the on the headline. Yeah, and I think 30 is working great. Cool. So that was super fast. That was probably faster than I even expected. And now let's make obviously everything responsive. Awesome. So we are ready for the final part where we will be making everything responsive and basically preparing it for the release.